Hi guys, welcome to Malik Jiro Thirty Four channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, today in this session, I'm going to explain you how to install Oracle Enterprise Linux in VMware Workstation. So, first of all, you should know what is VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation is a tool or a software provided by VMware company where you can launch your uh, virtual machines, either Windows or Linux or Ubuntu or AIX. Any, any kind of OS you can launch on this workstation and then you can use it as your any testing or development activities or any, any kind of activity you can perform on that. So in today's session I am going to explain you how to install this Oracle Enterprise Linux. So first of all you should download uh, Oracle Enterprise Linux ISO. So, if you don't know how to download, where to get this ISO image, please refer my previous video where I explained in brief, in detail, uh, how to download this ISO images, Oracle patches uh, from Oracle eDelivery or Oracle OTN site. Uh, I that that pretty much have a very good video. You can one who has not gone through, I request everyone to go through that video and then that will help. So. If you see here, I already downloaded Oracle Linux 5, 6, 7, 8. So, Oracle Enterprise Linux has a various versions starting from 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The, the current latest image is uh, OEL 8.2. So, what I am going to do, I am going to divide this uh, session as a 4 uh, a 5 uh, series of sessions where I can show you each version, how to install and what are the prerequisites, how to uh, do configuration. So in this today's session, I am going to explain you how to install this 5.8. If you go inside 5.8, I already downloaded, this is the ISO image. So I will proceed with the installation now. So you need to open VMware work session and click on this virtual machine. And then choose this typical. Then now where you need to pass the ISO image go and uh, select 5.8 there you go so click on next ok so what's your machine name I will just go rack 1 and select uh, browse where you want to install this software And then you know you can give whatever the size of VM disk space. There are two options here: virtual store virtual disk as a single file or a chunk of multiple files. So I recommend go with the chunk of multiple files for the you know, best performance. You can click on customize hardware and then you know, select uh, memory I want 2 GB, 2 0 4 8, processor next is 2 or 1 based upon, the, based upon your, your laptop or Windows capacity, the processor, processing speed, network, USB. Enter, you can remove then close it will put and, uh, and then no, enter enter to enter it is loading all the ISO images You can read all these messages where it is going into boot menu and then loading all the drivers, all the games. Okay, I'm going to skip that CD. It will take a bit time, so please be patient and so 
follow all the instructions and not to avoid any human error or mistakes. Now it is doing. Okay, here we go. Click on next. Select English. Permit the disk of ES. Okay, so next click on next. Yes. And then go with the uh, don't go with the DHCP and then go with the manual. I'm going to give it is the host name actually. So I'm going to get the rack. And I'm going to edit this IP and then I'm going to click my own computer 192.168.192.168. No, you can go with any anything but you know you should go for IP address calculation one or two however of network networking. IPv6 okay gateway 192.168.192.168 so if, if you don't know this IP calculation so there is a site IP calculator Okay, sorry for that, some internet uh, connection issue. Okay, so there's a site IP calculator, so you can go into that and put your IP address which IP we gave. We gave 192.168.1.0. Uh, okay, two. Uh, netmask 24 and to calculate it will tell you netmask 24 224 224 224 at 0 alright so the network is this one broadcast is this one alright so it will give you you know all all right, all the details whatever needed private and this minimum host The minimum IP 1.1 .1 and maximum is 1.254. You can use any IP in this range. Right, let's go back. Gateway, gateway, right? So gateway is nothing but you know, the 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 one. The gateway might be any one of the IP. Whichever you can define for you just go with 192 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 Primary DNS, secondary DNS, I'm just give you as of now and go ahead and then select your uh, time zone. This chart will confirm and then root password you can define. Okay, this you can select anyone if you are particularly sure about you are going to install it for web server or clustering or any kind of activity, you can select it. Or else, you, know, you can just uh, do customize now and that will continue. Uh, the one what I recommend, uh, you know, go to development libraries, select the development libraries, and select the services. And go to this base system and select the system tools and then 
click on the softening package and there is a particular package called Oracle Validator. So this one and uh, all this Oracle Rack and this validator. If you are particularly using this uh, box for your Oracle testing, so you better select all this Oracle related RPMs, close it and click next. Checking for dependencies in packages because whatever package you selected and internally it will check for whatever the dependent packages and then it will by default uh, select all those dependent packages. Okay, almost done. Okay, done. So click on next. Okay, so now uh, you know it will format all the disks, partitions, and then you know if you want to do any customization in the swap, then you know but you want to mount any particular mount point, all that has to be done here. If you don't do it, you know it will default go to the, the basic of partitions and required. Of mount points it will create the directory and then then it will go ahead with that I'll show you how to do it starting installation process this may take a several minutes okay Okay, now it started installation, so let's let it get complete and then we'll come back after a few minutes. Okay, so the installation is done, so now I'm going to reboot the server. There we go. Again, if you go back to the boot menu, it will load all the VMs, all the on points. The root files of the network, of the network files, configuration files, and it will all read and then configure it and then boot the OS and you are ready to log in. There you go. So if you click on these details, you will see all the messages starting with audit, restore, syslog, IP table, NFS, all the, all the services. And the time you can set the time for thirty. Okay, fine. Let's select. Yeah. So I'm the create user, so it's not necessary to create user. I'll just uh, keep that as now. Forward. Install the additional it is No need to install as of now. Continue. Okay, that's it. So, you know, and then let's proceed with your uh, other configuration edit. So, I'll just verify host name. You can see host name rack one. I'll just configure IP address what we can. You can see 70 192.168.1.1.1. So, perfect. So, 
Thank you. Thank you. Well,